Who, Virgo? All right, Virgo. Jeez. Sometimes I be thinking to myself, I be like, why do I always, like, why? Like, I don't even question God, but it just be like, sometimes I just be like, why, bro? And then some of us that have a double mission, the reason why we got a double mission is because we understand the psyche, the human psyche. Like these, like not everybody gonna understand why people is the way that they are, man. Like, I don't understand. That's probably why God let me tolerate and deal with a lot of shit. Because he know that he's going to protect me. That's the thing. That's why I said. People don't know their lane. They need to stay in that shit. Or find it. Or something. Because they crashing right now. We got too, too many people trying to crash in your lane. They crashing. That shit like that. <clears throat> That's why I'm now starting to see why God put Like why I be dealing with a lot. And why I be allowing a lot. It's because God know I can handle it. Like, he give his toughest battles to his strongest warriors. He ain't going to give it to no wink link that's going to sit up here and fold and shit like that. Yeah, I'm telling you. God be putting us to work. Like, his strongest soldiers. Like, we always got to be the ones to, like, regrow, like, rebuild ourselves. Reconstruct ourselves. Like, that's crazy. Yeah, look. The healer. The high priest. The Zari Virgos. This y'all's. And then it's you and your person out here. Something like... With this coming together or this working together with you and your person, for some of you, this is just you coming together and working side by side with God, okay? To help people, um, to like indoctrinate people or something like that, like to where as though they, um, reconstruct their mind, because this is all about reconstruction. Seven of Pentecost who's in the eight of Pentecost, Okay? Like, a lot of people need to uh, reassess and reevaluate how they was raised and how they was brought, what they was told when they was raised, uh, how they view life when they was raised. So, not everybody is coming together with a person. For some of you, you are. But some of you, you're not. Okay? It's just you building a connection with God so you can understand the way things was built. The way how God seen, seen, seen people. That's why I said for some of y'all, I said that in my channel before on live. I be saying a lot. Sometimes I don't even remember half of the shit I be saying because it be so much I be learning. So, God damn. Huh. I, when you, like, I think earth school is more, <clears throat> uh, more difficult than actual school. Because when you learn from the earth, like just, how can I say this? <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know how to say this, y'all. I really don't. I just don't. Just know when you learn from your experiences, I think that's what really matters the most. Because that's what it's supposed to be in life experience. You're not going to learn this in school. You're not going to learn the people, like the person's psyche. Like, I don't care if you go to college and get a degree, a bachelor's, a master's, 33, 33, you went to school and you studied more than an average person on the psyche. Some people still not going to get it because they're only being learned and told with books that they're reading. Some people don't need books. All you got to do is build a connection with God and he will reveal everything to you. Little by little, piece by piece, the way how he's seen it and perceived it in his way, in his eyes, in his vision. You get what I'm saying? This shit gets deep. Like, some people just be thinking they need to do all this research and this, this, this studying different million books, go to the nearest library and learn. Yes, yeah, certain things you do need to go to the library and learn and study. But all, it, all you really need to do is take time to get to know yourself and reconstruct your own mental space. So that way the information can flow, flow through you from a celestial standpoint, okay? So you'll be dealing with a Taurus, a Pisces, on a first. Hold on, y'all. Because this boy. Like, I'm just saying. You feel me? Okay, now I can say what I was saying in my channel and message. So when I was saying something about the devil energy. So some people find people to be like toxic or demonic. Like, you're only saying people are toxic and demonic because 
Because of what? Because we got to understand here, all of us are toxic. And all of us have demonic energy. It's all about how much of that demonic energy we let consume us. Y'all sit and idolize these people all day long on TV, not knowing that these are the same people that's doing the same thing that you say the average person you see on the street is demonic. All these drugs, Papa Pills, Zannies, all that shit. They doing the same shit. So why y'all not calling them demons? Why y'all not saying, oh, that person is demonic? Oh, y'all look at this person and say, oh, no, because that's Little Wayne. Oh, no, because that's Future. Oh, no, because that's Gucci Mane. Oh, no, because that's... Like, bruh, if some of these artists, they, like, it takes a lot to change. That's why some of these artists, is they're not going to change. So it's like you're idolizing the same shit that y'all sitting up here saying is demonic. Like, make y'all just a bunch of hypocrites. You know? Like, I don't understand people. And if you feel some kind of way about this message, obviously it's meant for you to hear it. Five, 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 you're meant to hear this shit. Because it's a lot of people that's on social media that just be hypocritical. Like, y'all sit up here and say how things are toxic and demonic and low vibrational and blah, 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 Like, you hear it all day long, okay? It's like regurgitating shit that's coming out. Everybody my, everybody just throwing up every fucking way and saying the same shit. But ain't nobody actually taking time to understand why this behavior is so acceptable. It's because you mother... Mm, 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 Lord, guard my tongue, please. Please, Lord, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, please guard my tongue because these people are about to get the wrath. Like, they about to feel it because God is tired of y'all not actually taking the time out to get a connection to closely know him so y'all can get the information on y'all own instead of keep listening to other people. Like, just stop. And then you turn around, you get online, and you say the same thing that everybody been saying, which makes you no different from the rest of them. What makes you different, what makes you stand out is if you take the initiative and the time to be different and stand out and think differently. That's why not everybody is for you and not everybody is meant to be around you. That's why I don't mind being by myself. I'll be weird on my own time. Like for real. Until I find somebody that can actually sit in the room with me and we both be weird together and love each other in a weird way and not sit up here and say, oh, because you're acting like this and you're doing that and you're doing that, you're toxic. You get what I'm saying? Like, some shit is toxic. Like, some shit we do need to break cycles from and we need to get the fuck away from. When it becomes to the point to where you're miserable, now you're just suffering. Like, you're not meant to suffer. You're not sent here to suffer and be in misery and agony and pain. You're meant to be loved, right? And you're meant to be accepted for every flaw that you have in perfection. Your imperfections or whatever the case may be, but it's like most people just want to <clears throat> idolize things that don't even matter but they talk down upon the things that most people really need help with I hope that made sense I mean I'm, I'm starting to not care if I make sense to people or not okay like I really don't like maybe that's your um level low surface mental state you need to fix or, or, or whatever Okay, because I'm tired of keep trying to, like, be the nice one towards everybody. Like, I'm tired of keep trying to, like, dumb myself down for other people. No, it's like, do you get me or you don't? Because I'm not about to keep trying to, like, change the way I view things or see things for other people to make them comfortable. To be around me or want to deal with me and shit like that. I don't give a fuck no more. It's like, do you love me and like me for me or you just stay the fuck away from me? It's just that simple. Because I'm not about to stop being me or who God has chosen me to be. To make your mother, sister, cousin, uncle, brother, or whoever comfortable, bruh. We're not doing that. We're not doing it. And then it's the thing, like, people look at Tarot or they look at what I'm doing as the devil's work. But these people be the same ones that do devilish shit. Like, do that make sense? Like, y'all go to church, y'all praise God, y'all pray, y'all do all this, this stuff y'all say y'all do. But y'all be the main ones that's more connected to the devil than a person that's up here that's opening their mind in a Christ conscious way that's close to God. Like sometimes I say that's that hypocrite shit and y'all be contradicting yourself. Y'all don't be making no sense. Some people just don't be making no sense, bruh. You just don't. I can sit up here all day long and I could be a Christian and shit like that. And the way I was raised, but as soon as I look at somebody that pick up something that's in the Bible, Okay, that was already told by God. Oh, it's the devil. Do y'all make sense? No, you don't. Because if it was the devil, how do I know all these things, bruh? 
How am I able to enlighten y'all and awaken y'all and tell y'all to see things differently if it was the devil? I would be trying to corrupt y'all and control y'all and keep y'all in a lower vibrational type of energy. I wouldn't even be trying to help y'all raise y'all frequency. Do this make sense or do it does not? Like, sometimes people just need to stop making sense and stop running their mouth and just be talking and just saying shit because out of fear. Like, yeah, you're with the devil. If you're in fear, you're the devil. That's what the demonic energy is, fear. But when you come to somebody that's very empowering, it's it's intimidating. Like, yeah, the devil is afraid of anything that's empowering because the devil don't want to empower God empowers. Like, come on, bruh. Do I got to preach? I don't want to preach, bruh, because I'm not in that energy to be preaching. You feel me? As I said, I know who I am to the T. It's just I'm not about to keep trying to get people to accept me and like me for me. It's like either you do or you don't, okay? Life moves on. Move the fuck around. Not, like, come on, bruh. <clears throat> like, brutal shit. 11-11. <laughs> That's why I deal with the most shit because I already know why. It be times I be trying to just get a break. I want a break just like everybody else. Y'all got more slack than me. I got to keep being pressure applied to me each and every day because of who I am. I'm changing people. I'm like real life changing the masses. Like I'm starting a whole movement. And the more I get stronger and stronger, the more I empower myself and the more and more I learn who I am and discover who I am. It's going to like change the masses of people. And that's what people are afraid of. They don't want you to feel empowered. Once you empower people and empower yourself enough to change the masses of people, that's when you know that you are too powerful. Like that's when all the most powerful leaders damn near is assass got assassinated because of this. The same shit I'm doing is why. So it makes sense why so many people want me to fuck out of here. It makes sense. That's why it's to the point where I'm not even afraid no more. I don't even care. Just keep wishing on me all you want to you get about it. I don't give a fuck. Because I know I'm not going nowhere. It's something I'm supposed to do and fulfill before I leave it. And I'm only 27 years old, bruh. 22, 22, like, come on, bruh. And 12, 22. Like, no. And I'm glad I actually found my call and my purpose and I chose to choose this path at this age because most people don't even get a chance to. Okay? To even be empowering towards other people at a, at a young, youthful age. Because I want to be able to chill and relax by the time I'm 40. I'm telling you, I'm not about to be working my ass off all the way till I'm 40 some years Oh No, by then, I'm trying to be real and I'm kicking in my feet. Okay? In my own motherfucking pool in my backyard, some fucking way, chilling. Drinking lemonade in the shade, smoking some big gas or some shit like that. Like, I ain't trying to be sitting up here still preaching. And, 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 and doing this for so long. No, that's what I'm doing it now. And I'm putting the work in now, 13, 13. Like everybody want to live the lavish life, but don't nobody want to put the work in and live lavishly. Like everybody just want to take, 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 take. No. And then when you know that you bring a lot to the table and you know who you are, you got to remove yourself from people, period. 1333, because even these people know who you are. That's why they take it. they like, oh, they going to get it back. It's nothing. Oh, like, no. Until you stop allowing shit from people, you're always going to keep accepting it. And then at this point, you can't get mad at nobody but yourself. At this point, I'm just saying, like, I don't be trying to, like, be that type of person that be like, damn, like, who are you to, like, feel like you're better? Because I don't want nobody to think I'm better than nobody. It's just, it's to the point to where the, the more I love me and get to know who I am, the more I understand why I can't sit with a lot of people. Just period. It, it's not set up for me to do that. It's not set up for me to sit around people and be around people. I know this reading was for Virgo, but <clears throat> this is what Virgo is about. Self-discovery. Going deep within. Okay? Finding out who you are. And building a connection with the most high or whoever it is you pray, believe to. Okay, because everybody has different belief systems. And that's the thing. I don't force my beliefs onto people. I just freely, openly tell people what I believe in. And it's up to you to accept it. Shh. It's up to you to accept my beliefs or what I do. Because the same way 1444, I, I respect your beliefs and know that you was a Christian. You were brought up this way. And there's some things that you need reprogramming on. Yeah, that's cool. I'm down for it. I'm like, I'm down for whatever it is God want me to do, bro. Like, at this point. 
And it be, it be times where I don't want to do it, but it's called obedience, right? Like, you know how many people continue to keep doing shit to me, but because the forgiving heart that I have in me, because I'm such a forgiving person, I still forgive people. Even if they doing shit behind my back, 15, 15, or talking about me, or whatever the case may be, it's just, that's how I was set up. That's how I was programmed. Okay? Because God wouldn't be who he, are, who he is if he wasn't a forgiving God. Like, see? You see? You see? You see? Like, now you see where I'm coming from. That's what I'm saying. Some people, they, they, it, 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 like, until you understand God and really got a connection with him, you will see why he's such a forgiving God. Most people so bitter and so angry and upset and hurt that they feel like, oh, no, because this person hurt me or because this person was doing this and this person was acting funny towards me, I'm going to act funny towards them. No, it's cool to give somebody their space. Yeah, give them all the time and space they need. So whatever has happened between y'all, it can, like, digress. Hold on, y'all. Sheesh. Like, you get what I'm saying? <clears throat> like, that's how I said, being toxic. And then on top of that, it's like, some people, they don't even still wish people well or still wish good towards them. That's how you know some people just not who they say they is. They just want to have that title. Or they just want to be entitled to saying as though they this, this, that, and the third. Now, I can't tell you who you connected to, who you close to. All I can tell you is who I'm connected to and who I'm close to. And my beliefs and how I <clears throat> how I go by how I'm uh, governed. So I don't know. Like everybody is different, but it's like I I just can't see myself doing it. Like I just can't see myself doing it at all. Period. Like I'm still a forgiving person. I'm gonna forgive you. I don't give a fuck what it is, what you done, how you did it, how you done it. Okay. I'm still gonna love you whether it's from a distance. Or whether it's up close and personal. But 1717, God is not letting people get close to me no more. Like, you got to prove to him that you want forgiveness and you want to change in order to get up on me. I'm telling you, because God let too many people get close to me by even out of the decisions and choices that I made. You get what I'm saying? Because not only was I being tested, he was testing these people too. So, as me opening myself up, to do what he called me to do in these people's lives. I didn't sit up here and shun them. I didn't sit up here and look down on them. I didn't sit up here and wish ill on them. You get what I'm saying? That's how you know we two, we are not the same. Like, <laughs> we're not the same, baby. That's why I said you can't sit up here and say, and look at somebody and say, oh, they hold on, hold on, boo-boo, and say they toxic and shit like that because they don't do the same shit that you do. Or they don't understand you the way that you do. Like, everybody sit so quick to say, oh, I know you better than you know yourself. No. You need to know yourself better than anybody else know you. That's what you need to focus on first. So when anybody come into your life, they won't sit and try to tell you what the fuck and how the fuck to do because you already know. Now, don't get me wrong. It's some of us that still need to be told that <clears throat> because we get caught up in the moment of, like, not believing and not having faith and not trusting in the God so we trust more into 